What is going on you guys? It is your boy businessman cam and I am finally back with yet another video Man, I know it has been a minute since I've uploaded my last video There's been so many questions so many comments concerns You know people asking where I've been what I've been doing did I quit detailing? Why did I quit YouTube? You know, I had some comments assuming what I've done. I wish I had screenshotted it. One of them just made me laugh when I saw it. I remember it said uh, he probably couldn't handle detailing. He probably works at Home Depot now, which even if I did work at Home Depot, who cares? Um, but yeah, so all sorts of stuff. But basically, I'm going to answer all of that in this video and to kind of give you guys a bit of a quick answer. I'm on my way right now to a detail. Uh, it's about 8.30 a.m. I'll get there about 9 o'clock and uh, we're doing a full detail on a Model 3. So that kind of gives you a little bit of insight, at least what I'm still doing at the moment. But in today's video, I'll let you guys know what my future is like in detailing, what I've been doing, and how I plan to move forward with this. So that's kind of the quick answer, but stay tuned for the rest of the video to kind of find out the rest. But I'm on my way there. We'll talk about it more when we get there. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Yeah, man, let's get to this location. All right, you guys, so we just arrived on the location for the day. Starting to get everything out and set up. Got a nice, beautiful day. Thankfully, in the area that I'm in, it's actually about 10 degrees cooler today than it would have been from where I'm coming from. So thank the Lord for that. But so this is the vehicle that we got for today. It is a Model 3 Tesla. I'll go ahead and show you guys the interior. That is the interior. Thankfully, the client was also gracious enough to let me work inside of their garage. So as you guys can see, there's no shade or anything out here. Don't have enough room to put a easy up or whatever in my vehicle at the moment to be able to set it up and stuff. And I feel like it kind of takes a little bit of extra time. So thankfully I am working in the garage. Um, I'm going to get everything set up, take out the mats, start vacuuming, and uh, we'll kind of get into the reason that I've been gone this whole time. So I just went ahead and finished up the, the first vacuum and uh, spraying down with the air compressor as you guys saw. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff out to start on the door panels because that's usually the next thing I do after I vacuum and get everything uh, that's just kind of sitting out. Uh, and then I'll kind of let you guys on, on some insight as to why I have been gone. Basically, in short terms, or just to kind of make it quick and get it out of the way, um, the reason I have been gone this whole time and not been uploading from YouTube isn't because I quit. Nothing like that. If you guys have been uh, checking up on my Instagram, you guys would know that I've been actually posting uh, this whole time and I've been working this whole time. Basically, I just haven't been uploading on YouTube. Um, so that reminds me, if you guys haven't followed me already, if you guys want to keep updated with my you know, detail journey and my life and stuff like that, I don't really post too much personal stuff on that account. Um, but go follow me on at Purple Rain Mobile. But basically in short terms, life happened, you guys. Nothing significant, nothing crazy. Basically, if you guys knew, a few months ago, I was living with a few roommates. I wasn't living at home. I had actually just moved out. But recently, this November, uh, last November uh, in 2021, I had moved back in with my mother. So I'm moving there for a few months just to save some money on rent, etc. And then I plan on leaving again at the end of the year in December once this semester of school is over. So I had a big move. That kind of got me unfocused. That was kind of the beginning of me kind of getting inconsistent. I know I, I think I started a few uploads after that, but um, I wasn't as consistent. Uh, so th that happened. I've been in football for about the past month and a half to two months. So, you know, I was kind of just getting in shape, just really focused on my training. Uh, I had the flu and then I ended up having something called a pneumo uh, bronchio pneumostitum or something like that, which basically is where a hole opens up in your throat and um, air gets out so I had a huge possibility of my lungs collapsing and I had gotten that from the flu if you guys were on my Instagram you guys would know that um, so that took up about three to four weeks of recovery just not doing anything so I wasn't uploading then 
Um, and then, you know, to kind of top the cake, I have school coming up. So um, I've been just kind of getting ready for school, preparing for classes, etc. Because if you guys don't know, I'm a college student. Um, I'm technically in my third academic year as a junior. Um, so I've just been really focused on everything else but uh, YouTube. I've been just still working, still doing my thing here. Um, I just haven't uploaded. Uh, if you guys have done YouTube before, you guys can know how tedious it can be trying to record and detail at the same time. It's extremely hard. It's a lot harder than you think because you're mid-work, then you just got to put the camera down and start, you know, uh, filming and then you kind of get off track. It just throws you off. So it can be a really difficult process, but basically life happened, you guys. That's what I've been up to. I've just been doing everything else but YouTube, basically. And like I said, if you guys have been up, keeping update on my Instagram, you guys would know that I have been detailing. I just haven't been uploading on YouTube. So that's basically what's been going on. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these door panels. Then I'll kind of let you guys on a little bit of insight of what I'm currently doing. I kind of just let you guys know what's been going on in the past and led up to this. I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm currently doing and then my future plans too. Basically, recently, um, I had got re-enrolled back into into college for the fall semester. This is also kind of a testament to the fact that you guys need to just, you know, if you're looking to start a detail business and you want to start, but you're afraid because you have all these questions, or you're in school, or you have a full-time job right now already, guys, you just got to do it and you just got to start. I've been managing school football and, and uh, detailing now for about four years. And it is very, very hard. You have to be very, very organized. But just know that it is possible, you guys. And don't wait until, oh, I'll start, you know, next month once it's better weather. Like, you just got to start now, you guys. The quick, the better, the quicker you start, the, you know, the better outcome it'll be. Anyways, just back to what I was saying. I recently just signed up for fall classes. That's kind of what I've been busy with right now. And like I had mentioned before, I had started football. Um, so I'd started football practice with my college. If you guys don't know, I am an athlete. Uh, so I do play football and I started practice about a month and a half ago, summer camp. And this upcoming Monday, uh, the Monday the 8th of August, uh, we, start fall, uh, we start fall camp. Uh, we were in summer camp, now we start fall camp. And uh, that's gonna keep me pretty busy. So that's kind of what I'm on right now. Um, I do have an idea of kind of what I wanna do with my business. I've just been working and stuff, but obviously, like I said, you have to manage all those things and be very organized. It can be hard to manage sometimes. So, um, you know, I got to stay very organized and get ready for this semester because this is what I kind of want to do. You know, a lot of people have recommended, oh, why don't you just quit school and not do school and go full time detailing? You're doing so good, etc. That's just not what I want to do, you guys. You know, I just have outside stuff that I want to complete in life before I go full force into this. If I did decide to go for it, full force into this, I'll let you guys know in a little bit here what my kind of plan is going forward with mobile detailing. Um, but that's my current st status. That's kind of what I've been really, really just focused on recently is just finishing up school, playing my sport, try to get somewhere with that, get free education, man. You know, school is not for everyone. A lot of people think school is pointless, college, whatever. Everyone has their own beliefs. So um, I'll let you believe whatever, you know, you choose to believe. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these seats, finish up pretty much the rest of the interior, get everything vacuumed out, and then I'm gonna start on the wash. I just went ahead and finished the interior. Um, I'm about to call the customer out to have them back it up a little bit into the driveway, like probably halfway and halfway out. But I'm gonna show you guys the interior now just because I'm not gonna feel like it later.
basically I plan on putting my detail vehicle up for sale so so I can focus on school this semester I do plan on cutting back on my detailing business a bit meaning I'm gonna sell the vehicle so if you guys are interested be looking for a video uh, where I put a little bit more out about that because I'll be putting the vehicle up on the market soon with all the stuff that's in it but basically I'm gonna go ahead and sell this for the semester until December put a custom setup in the Camry that I have my actual personal car uh, so it's gonna be a little setup in the trunk to show you guys how crazy you know how possible things are with little with little to no stuff or room uh, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys that process when I get the custom setup installed in there and then for now I'm not gonna be taking new clients anymore um, for about five to six months I'm, I've put in my Instagram bio that I'm currently not accepting new clients and with that new setup that I'll have I'll have a water uh, tank but no generator so um, all my maintenance cl clients I mentioned it to most and most of all said that they were fine I did have like one or two apartment clients uh, who one apartment client said they couldn't at all and one said that they'll go to their friend's house or family's house that's nearby and I can just go there and detail it uh, if I need power so that is sort of my plan I'm gonna sell this so I can focus on school focus on football next couple months I'm gonna be downscaling my detail business just a little bit um, and then my plan for when I come back, uh, if nothing happens with football, uh, if you guys don't know, I really love football. I've been playing since I was young. If I don't get offered or go to a college for it or anything um, at the end of the season, I do plan on going full blown with the detail business. So I plan on buying a van, uh, getting the setup in there, getting it wrapped, all that jazz, uh, hiring a uh, employee full time, which I already kind of have done uh, right now. So, but they're about part time, a little more than part time, I'd say right now. But I'm gonna have them full time, and I'm just gonna go super hard, stupid hard. Uh, come, I want to say about December time frame. So that's kind of my plan. Looking to the future, I plan on going full blown, possibly getting a shop, um, and then that's kind of where I'll go in the direction with my life. I'll detail, and then I will use that money to invest into other things. Um, so, yeah, man, that is my plan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead start on this wash so I can get it knocked out before it gets too hot Um, just the windows and then putting some tire shine on and then we'll be done um, I did quickly want to mention though um, Basically my plan is to keep all of my social media uh, So I'm gonna keep my social media active even though I'm gonna be you know kind of be on there less You know posting less um, I have a bunch of videos pictures and stuff lined up from past details uh, Little video content clips and stuff that I'm gonna be still posting to keep the engagement high um, So they know that I'm still there that way when I come back. I'm not just just coming out of nowhere and having to start fresh again having to start brand new i kind of already have something built um so i will be good so yeah that's kind of my plan going forward uh, i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the wheels and the windows and then pack up and get out of here let me go ahead and give you guys a look at the finish This is what we have. Got everything cleaned up nicely. Wheels and tires done. Got the tire shine on there. Basically no specs of anything left. Just finished up. It is 12, 13 p.m. So it took me right about three hours, I would say, to finish that. Three hours and like 15 minutes-ish with pack up and put every, putting everything away and putting everything out. Um, they sent me the Venmo for 220, so that's how much we ended up making today. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's all washed out, but man, there's some nice houses in this area. Big old houses, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was the other thing I was gonna mention. I do plan on raising my prices prices uh, with inflation a little bit. There's another one. Nice houses. That is pretty much it as far as this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I just wanted to update you guys, doing a quick life update and then make this video so you guys understand where I've been and what's been going on. 
Um, if you guys have watched all the way through, I really, really appreciate you. I also want to say thank you guys so much for anyone who's messaged me. I've gotten so many messages on IG, so many comments continuously, even still, even though it's been five, six months since I've uploaded, asking when I'm coming back, am I okay, what's been going on? So anyone that's been supporting me and even any haters or anything that said I've been working at Costco because I couldn't handle detailing, whatever, um, thank you guys for watching the videos too because, you know, everyone brings up the view count basically. But yeah, I appreciate every single one of you. Comment any video ideas you guys want to see down below for the future and I will get to start filming those. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Your boy is finally back. Hit the like button if you guys haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!